Hello YouTube, this is Don Brandt and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the DROCK 48 volt DC variable or adjustable power supply. We're going to use this power supply to supply the power for a linear feed for a milling machine and then later a CNC machine. Let's see what's in the box. Okay, we've got a card here. For, comes with a sheet here, an instruction sheet. Here's a curious item in the box. It comes with a spare potentiometer. Where did that come from? It just appeared. And some terminals, spade terminals. So now we're going to take the power supply out of the box and take a good look at it. On the top we have a voltmeter. On the side there's a manual voltage selector switch. There's also various mounting screws on the side of the casing. Let's go ahead and pull off the protective wrap. And here's a look at where you make your electrical connections on the front. This device will supply up to 10 amps at 48 volts. I think one thing that's definitely missing is it should have a power switch, an on and off power switch. And as you can see, one does not exist on here. So let's go ahead and wire this up to the AC mains. For your little ring terminals here. Sometimes you can crush them and make them oblong. So you can kind of see how I made that oblong, and maybe that's not enough, but let's see if we can get that in there. There. So you do that times three. So if we look up here, we can see there's your load and your neutral and your ground. So here I have just a standard power uh, cable for a computer. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this cable for a power cable. And I have hundreds of these, so it's not really a big loss here. I'll be stripping the wire back and installing the ring terminals. I usually fold the wire over, that way when you crimp the terminals, they stay on nice and snug. Here's a detail of that fold over. And of course we'll do that for all three wires. Now we're going to go ahead and install those wires. Nice! So I got some pretty good outtakes at the end of this video, so I hope you stay tuned and watch the whole thing. So here I'm just connecting the test leads from the voltmeter so we can see how accurate it is. Now we'll plug it in and see if I got my wiring right. Excellent job, no smoke. So let's go ahead and crank this up. 6.3 volts. 6.49 and so you can see there's a little bit of difference this is showing 13 and this is showing 13.2 so it's showing 16 volts here and we'll keep going up 22 32 42.8 50 volts and so now we got a large DC motor here we're just going to uh, this is probably only a 12 volt motor, so no, we're not going to go over 12 volts. In the side. Okay. 2.6, 2.8 volts. 2.8 volts. And so here we've got a 2 amp light bulb. And so we'll just crank that up. And 12 volts right there. So let's take a quick peek inside. So it looks like we have a few screws to take out here. So we got the fan here, and we got the LED, uh, the voltage LED, three wires, and then we got our potentiometer here, and there is uh, one, two, three, four power transistors, and there's our switch, transformer capacitors. Let's go ahead and button this back up and read the warning or the notice on the top. Basically, it's just stating that the fan automatically turns on and off. There's three terminals plus. each for the positive and the negative output voltage. Okay. 
Here I'm wiring up this separate motor controller, which will be featured in my next video. Let's go ahead and do a demonstration of the stepper motor using the 48 volt power supply. As you can see, I'm setting the output to 36 volts DC. But first, I'm going to solder up the wires for the potentiometer. So I hope you all enjoyed this video showing the, what was I reviewing again? Stepper motor? Stepper motor, yes, thank you. I'd appreciate if you liked this video to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Put it all back together, because I had looked inside the box previously. Uh, the D-Rock King. Derocking? I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah. You're not even on camera, Terry. No, you're on camera. Yeah. Oh, can, did you get me on camera? Yeah, sure did. Thank you. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Hold on. See, that's why I need you helping. I can tell. Because your big fingers are in the way. Can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> take three. Take, take three. <laughs> All right. Don, why is this a dial? It's so boring. Isn't everything nowadays a touch screen? You're supposed to be with the time. This is man. better. It's more, it's, it, it controls things right. You know what Oh I'm my saying? God, this is so not as good as the first time. <laughs> I know it's not. Never That's mind, I you get, well, hold on. I want mm -hmm. to tell you one thing I had in mind. Uh -huh. I was thinking about taking this. I wanna, I'm going to build what's called the butt kicking machine. <laughs> but, but, so but, like every time it goes around, it like kicks you in the butt. Yeah. So what I was thinking is, is it going to be your butt kicking machine? Or? Well, yeah. I like strap it onto your back, right? Okay. <laughs> and then what happens is, is there'll be some springs here, and we'll put some shoes or boots, whatever works. Okay. okay? Some and little, then like, toy boots or something. Or, well, I wear big boots or whatever, steel toed <laughs> boots. And then, uh, uh, what, depending on how much you're misbehaving, that's how much butt kicking you'll get. Your hands probably. <laughs> No, it's not. Okay. Ooh. That it's be like that a, would be pretty. Can we just make it a spanking machine? That may be way more fun than a butt kicking machine. <laughs> and it would be even more fun if you had like this electronic voice going, "Spank me, spank me, spank me," <laughs> and it goes faster well, as you shoot it up. This is G rated here. Is, yeah, I don't think I can put that in a video. There, a spanking machine. Uh, kicking machine a I mean kicking you know machine. okay kick, all right. I like the fact that you wear it on your back <laughs> <laughs> you wear it on your back all right yeah. I think that I might be able to get something out of that okay you, can push, you want to show me should I start recording now <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me?